We are at gotomath.com working some calculus. Look, it looks like calculus one there. They all got highlighted. Let's go down to rules of differentiation. And we're looking at 6.1. We got a picture to look at here. Yes, I'm adding pictures. I'm adding pictures. Um, let's look at this problem. It says find the equation y is equal to mx plus b of the tangent line. Find the equation of the tangent line. This is the form here. The slope intercept form. When x is equal to 0 0.9, round m and b to two decimal places. Now, you should round m and b to two decimal places at the very end. Okay, we don't want to round m to two decimal places before we find uh, b. Okay, so go out to uh, as many decimal places as you can. And in this particular problem here, since it's going to be something simple that we work with, oh, by the way, y is equal to sine x, um, we can use the exact value until we get to our final answer. So here's the graph of sine x. And when x is equal to 0 0.9, which is about right here, okay, this would be pi halves right at the apex here, the max. That would be pi halves on the x-axis. But uh, as you can see here, the slope of the tangent line is positive, right? And we can kind of get an idea of what the y-intercept is going to be right here. So when we find the slope m, if it's a negative number, we know we've done something wrong because we should be getting a positive number here. Um, anyway, so this here is the slope of the tangent line, right? Or this is the equation, or this is the graph to the equation of the tangent line, I guess I should say. Anyway, it sounds confusing. Well, let's go over to the whiteboard. Let's write this down. Let's see, uh, 0.9, can we remember that? And y is equal to sine x, I think I can remember that. 0.9. So let me actually write that down. x is equal to, you can write 0 0.9 or 0.9 down, whatever you want to do. So y is equal to mx plus b. This is what we want to come up with, okay? And of course, uh, now this y is obviously different from, I should be saying f of x here, but for some reason I decided to put y there. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, this should say f of x, but whatever. Okay, well, so these two y's are completely two different y's, right? Obviously, let's just uh, say that. Anyway, to uh, we want to find, um, well, we're given that, and that we need to come up with, and the slope here we need to come up with, right? So we need we got a point and a slope, and then we can come up with this guy here. So let's come up with this y first off. Uh, y is equal to sine of point We'll just say 0.9 instead of 0 0.9. Right. Well, there's our y. So we have our point, uh, 0.9, and then sine of 0.9. And we're going to use the exact value. Let's not put this in the calculator and round yet. Okay, let's just use the exact value. Now we need to come up with m. And to come up with m means that we need to find the derivative because the derivative is going to give us the slope of this tangent line. So we'll find the derivative y prime is equal to and the derivative of sine is cosine cosine x. Okay, So there's the slope. This is going to give us the slope when we plug in 0.9 into it. Alright, well let's plug everything in that we got here. So we know what y is. y is sine of 0.9 sine of point nine and that's equal to this right here is going to give us the slope cosine of point nine and then our x value obviously is point nine and then we have plus b okay so we're using exact values here now let's go ahead and solve for b in this problem so we have sine of point nine minus cosine of 0.9 times 0.9 is equal to our b. So that's what our b is going to be. That's what the b will be. OK. 
okay so let's just go ahead and uh, and now write out uh, everything that uh, we, we needed to find we need to find M and we needed to find B All right, we needed to find this and this so let's just do this so M and we'll go ahead and say is approximately now and we're going to go ahead and round M and so remember that M was going to be uh, this guy right here so let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator now you want to make sure that your calculator is in radian mode I don't know if I mentioned that or not in radian mode alright good news is we got a positive number and I'm just going to go ahead and throw that zero out front 0.62 so we're rounding to two decimal places and now B is approximately so we're going to type all that in. So we have sine of 0.9 minus cosine of 0.9 times 0.9. Right? That was our x. And let's see what we get here. We get uh, rounding to two decimal places 0.2. So we have our M and our B now. So now we got everything we need. Y is equal to 0.62x and then plus 0.22. So there is the equation to the tangent line at this point right here. Of course, we never did approximate what Y is, but you can do that if you want. All right, this is what we wanted to come up with. So let's go and check that answer out. Hopefully everything matches up. Uh, phew, yep, everything looks good. Point, uh, of course I can't scroll down the screen anymore, but anyway, we got y is equal to 0.62x plus uh, 0.22. And I should have looked at the graph before you can go back and reverse this video and look at the graph but it had a positive slope and get an idea of where it's crossing the y-axis and all that okay I should have looked at that anyway all right well reviewed that first um, you know something hold everything I want to go back real quick I want to show you something if you don't already know this where were we? Rules of differentiation. I meant to do this too before I left out of there in a hurry. Maybe we'll get something close. No, this is 1.3 here. Um, let's see. What is pi halves anyway? Pi halves. What is that? Pi halves. I forget what that is. 1.57? Okay, this is 1.3. So anyway, what I wanted to get at was, real quick here, remember you can click the problem, you can click this, and it'll stay the same problem, right? But the numbers obviously change right there. Anyway, so you can see this graph, this is positive, right? And um, it's got a small cross in the y-intercept, man, at like way down there, and this is, what, 0.7, so that's like point, I don't know what that is, 0 0.09? Let's take a wild guess. Let's hit answer. No, it's close. 0 0.076. Uh, uh, no, wait a minute. This is our this is our intercept here. Sorry, this is our wire intercept point. Yes, look at that. Point 0.1. No, I said point 0.9. Well, I was off by a little bit. Anyway, whatever. All right, I'm sure you're done with all that. Okay, come on by, and maybe we'll chat. See you later.